Hello there guys, my name is Matters, playing the games that matter, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to find your key in any song that you may be trying to figure out. Hey, what freaking notes am I playing? What notes do I need to put on this thing? Well, I'm gonna show you how today. The basic thing I can tell you is, remember this, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Everybody knows how that sounds. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, re, mi, blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm talking about. When you hear do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, that's actually a key, or known as a scale. When you're talking about a scale, a scale is a collection of notes. Normally it's eight notes. There's different types of scales, but right now we're just talking about a major scale in the major key, okay? We're not talking about fifths. We're not talking about any other weird keys that there are out there, or any other weird scales that there are out there, okay? We're talking about the basic. This is what you guys came for, okay? So I'm giving you guys what you want. All right, here we go. Let's just figure out a scale first. Let's say I, I'm in the key of F, all right? Let's say I already know what the key is of the song, and I'm trying to figure out what notes are in that key. Well, it's pretty simple. Most people can do this uh, by ear if you just remember the do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Okay, so here we go. So we're gonna start with F. I don't know why that's playing on my, not on my headphones. Let me try that again. So let's start out with the F. I've been doing music for a very long time. Uh, I haven't been practicing my scales, so I might mess up here, but uh, let's try this. Do, re, mi, fa. Uh, I mean, oops. Okay, let's try that again. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Yeah, boy. We found it. All right, so that is our, that is our scale right there. And as you can tell, if I go through it. So you guys can hear that right there. Now, if I was trying to do a little bit more complex uh, scale, there's also um, one of my favorites is the D scale for D's nuts. Okay, so we start at D, uh, D. Wait, I haven't played this in forever. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, so as you guys can hear by that, it's the same thing. It's the do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. It's the same exact thing all the time. The only difference is what your root note is. Now, the root note, again, is the bottom of the note. It's the bottom of the scale. This is where you're starting. It's your root note, okay? So you always wanna go off the root note. That's a basic t understanding of how you can find your scale. However, we need to apply this to being able to find the scale of a song. It's a similar process to what we're currently doing, but this time we're gonna apply it to a song. Now, this is the song we're working with. I just pulled this again off a of YouTube library, so let's just work with this. Okay, so we got that. If we want to figure out the key, it depends on what instrument you're using. Most of the time I just pull up an instrument over here real quick, go down to there, go down to like Citrus or GMS, any anything that has a piano pulled up with it. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the same process of finding your scale, except this time you're gonna apply it to the notes in the song. Like I said, this is doing this without any music theory. This is just playing it by ear. Okay, so I found my root note. This is how I found it. When I was going back and I was playing these notes, I was looking for things that sounded like notes in the song. So now, if I take that, I found out that it was B flat. So this is in the key of B flat. Okay, sometimes you can do this with your voice and just kind of match it with your voice, try to sing the notes and, and figure them out. Sometimes it's kind of hard depending on how the song is produced. Most of the time, if it's just like one instrument, it's very easy to figure out what scale you're going to be in because all you have to do is just figure out what notes that instrument is playing. There are probably more simple ways to do this, but this is how I do this. This is how I've always done this. Literally since the beginning of me figuring out how to make music, I've been doing this process of doing this. So what we want to do now is we want to go into, uh, probably probably want to get a different instrument, something that's going to stand out against this mix. When I figured out that this was B flat, it even starts off on a B flat. So as you can see right there,
I've pretty much figured out the chords that are playing along with this too. As far as timing goes, of course, this is not in time. I have not changed the tempo or matched the tempo to the project yet. I'm just placing the notes in here just because. <laughs> So that's pretty simple. You know, that's pretty much how you find your key or your scale. If you ever forget what scale you're in or you need to figure out your keys, I saw this technique of this one person who does this. Uh, I can't remember who does this, but basically just place the notes down of what your scale is. So we have now all of the notes right here. It does the same thing. It's always going to be in the Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do format. There are things called minor scales, are a little bit more complex, and I don't think I can teach those in a short format, especially if you guys don't know how to use major scales yet. Now, you can pretty much just play around and, and make your own melodies and stuff. But let's go ahead and just match the tempo. Now, I, I could show you guys how to do this too. I, I could make a uh, full tutorial on this, but I'm just going to go match this tempo real quick. This is our finished product. We can apply more notes to it. Uh, I, I went ahead and added an E flat. This shows that we have G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, and F, which is pretty much every note that we could possibly use in this key. So let's go ahead and uh, show you guys the finished result. So that's what we got, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this uh, tutorial. I tried to make it uh, a little bit more concise and to the point. So if you guys like that, go ahead and leave a like. I don't know why Tilted Towers keeps showing up on my thing. Leave me alone. I don't. I don't play Fortnite. So yeah, that's a that's a little tutorial. If you guys want to learn any more stuff about FL Studio or even GarageBand, because I do know a lot about GarageBand, go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. Uh, that's gonna be it for today, though. My name is Matters, playing the games that matter, and I will see you next time.